Beard opens up on top to Wendy at the wing. Now the Zane. He opens for Beard, a three-pointer from the wing left side. Kicks off no good. Roe has the rebound stripped away from him. Here's a turnaround shot, an air ball thrown up by Farrell and rebounded by Flagg. McDonald will push it up the floor for the Tigers. Cornered to Griswold. Looks like an early man-to-man -man for Ottawa. Out top is Walker to the wing. Griswold, now to Flagg. Flagg goes down low. Rowe, head fake, turns. Did he travel or was he... When he gets down low like that and create a lot of defensive problems. Pass comes into McDonald, baseline, brings it back out top for Walker between the ring. He puts it on the floor, moving left of the lane. Sidelines, wing left side. Out top for Griswold. Griswold, penetration, free throw line, kicks it off left side, Walker. Laying off the Tigers of the Pirates, kind of a slumping man-to-man. -man. Griswold at the head of the circle. Back to Walker, nobody's taken a shot for Princeton yet. Looks like Princeton wants to try to work it down low, Dave. Now there's a, here's a shot by Griswold for the corner, it's good. Mark Griswold buries the first J of the game and it's 2-0 Princeton. Like he's using a lot of time that trip down, but they got it to go. Beard at the point, corner to Bazane, he kicks it over to Windy. Windy drives on McDonald, free throw line, back outside for Farrell. And Windy, who wears the 22 in white on that red traveling auto uniform, to the corner to Roper. Roper guarded by Flagg, open man, a jump shot is rimmed in there by Bazane. Bazane, one of the seniors on this ball club, one of the leaders for Gary Bansell, ties it at two. Tigers bring it down in a hurry. Rattling is the ball is inbounded against the Princeton full court press by the Pirates. Beard, a 5'9 senior guard, brings it up on the left-handed dribble, guarded by McDonald. Kicks it over to Wendy. Wendy goes back to Beard doing the rings. Now left side to Farrell. Now they work it out top for Roper. Back down to Wendy. And to Farrell. Farrell guarded by Rowe. Left wing is Roper. Roper peers inside. Nothing doing. Bazane, who's got their only two. Now back to Beard. Both teams showing a lot of patience early so far. 2-2. Two, two. Boy, we could have a we could have a 10-8 final of this one at this rate. <laughs> Deliberate offense and good defense by both teams. We played two and a half minutes of this contest and we're tied at two. And there's only been about three shots taken of the contest. Both teams showing a lot of patience so far. Wendy guarded by Walker. Now up to the Zane. Open momentarily Roper, but he didn't take the shot. Kicks it cross court to Farrell. Now Beard just outside the circle. Mark McDonald on him in the man to man. A lot of patience, Dave, but I think they need to start moving on offense a little more to get, to get open. Well, look for a backdoor lob, maybe. Driving inside and shaking off his man. Now dishing inside was Farrell, and a basket's going to count. A foul on it when McDonald fell down, gave Ottawa the advantage. The free throw by Farrell is good, and it's a 5 2 Pirate lead. Well, the Tigers beat the other Ottawa school, Marquette, twice this year, including last week at uh, here at Prouty Gymnasium. The other victory over the Crusaders came at the uh, Plato Tournament. Princeton down 5-2 to the Ottawa Pirates now. Flag baseline jumper is no good. Boxing out of the rebound is Farrell. So the Tiger height advantage has not been a factor thus far because Ottawa got the opening tip and has gotten a couple of rebounds. Here's Bazane to the corner. Whips it back in. They kick it back out for Bazane. Good ball movement by Ottawa. Double teamed inside. Driving away is Roper. And a five-foot bank shot rolls off. Rebound Bazane. In heavy traffic. Sends it up and it's no good. And a rebound by Flagg. Knocked away in a five-foot five ball game. 5-2 Ottawa with the lead. Princeton with the ball. 4-15 to play in the opening quarter. A low-scoring contest thus far. Matthews, who checks in during that stoppage of play, has it to the wing. Now to walk a long three-pointer is good. Boy, that was almost an NBA three-pointer there. He was uh, about two steps off the arc, and he drilled that and ties it at five. He knows it's going to be on the radio tomorrow. He'll, he'll draw the crowd out with that one, or he'll, he'll draw, draw the, the defense out. Yeah. Here's Bazane working against McDonald. Overload the right side to the Pirates. Now they reverse it. Coming to Beard, and it's going to be a turnover on Ottawa. Browdy Gymnasium, an NCIC contest between the Ottawa Pirates and the Princeton Tigers. Here's Matthews down low inside for Rowe. He banks it up and good. Rowe got it down low on the blocks and made the maneuver to get free, and it's a 7-5 Princeton lead. Give the assist to Matthews on the pass down low that time. Ottawa front court with a driving strip to the ball, reach in foul. And where's 22 at White on the uniform? The free throw is good. Here's Kaufman came by way of Marseilles. Marcel's deactivated and a rebound off the miss. Comes the pass inbounds. It is windy. 
Gibbs to the corner. Now driving inside, leaning shot, no good. Wendy follows his miss, puts it back up, blocked by Blake. Walk away with the ball, ahead to row, front court on the run. Takes it baseline, pulls up off balance, keeps his balance long enough to kick it back out for Walker. Three, and it's good. Walker with his second tray, and he gives Princeton a six ball game. Otto was pretty much giving Princeton that outside shot. Wendy and Beard are the guards. Wendy with the ball, Bazane at the corner. Trying to box up down low of the Pirates. Roper trying to work free in the blocks. Now they go into Bazane in and out. That's the third Ottawa turnover of the first quarter. And the Tigers return the favor by the Princeton full court pressure. They don't throw it on them every time. Into the front court comes Beard. Now to Wendy. Back to Weir. Kicks it out left in the circle. Bazane is open from just inside the arc. Rebounded on the miss on a bounce by McDonald. Matt will bring it over the stripe. To the quarter to McDonald. To Matthews. Matthews puts it on the floor near the baseline. Gives up the dribble back to Walker. Walker guarded by Windy. Both teams playing man-to-man -man defense. Two minutes to play first quarter. Tigers lead by four, 10-6. Matthews. He leaves the dribble. Now gives it to Walker. Like he's trying to solve this uh, Ottawa defense. At the left side with it. Good patience by, patience by both defense or by both offenses or it's dandy defense, one of the two. Princeton Here's Matthews. Pu Princeton's puzzled so far and trying to get the ball worked down low. Here's Matthews. He travels. Pirates having won four NCIC games in a row coming in here. Tigers lost their last conference outing to Rochelle last week. Here's Beard up against Walker. Right wing. Out top for Farrell. Farrell against Rowe. Back to Beard. And now to Farrell. Windy, left wing. Left of the circle, drives on Matthews. One step. Now to Roper. Open man for the jumper is Beard. Kicks out, no good. Walk on the rebound. Ahead to McDonald. Front court for the Tigers. Pull up jumper from three. Too hard off the heel of the iron. Rebound, Griswold. He's hammered underneath. Gets the shot up, doesn't go. Kept alive, tipped up Rose. Trips to the ball, going up out of bounds to Ottawa up the ball and it looked like somebody had to steal it away and now a foul on quarter he's hit a couple of three pointers that's really the difference in the ball game right now windy with a or rather make that beard with a left handed dribble now between the rings started by matthew over to farrell farrell goes down for a jumper by windy out of the left side on with full for the perimeter here's a shot goes up from the field dave beard inbounds to the zane Pumps it down low for Roper, misses the cripple, but rebounded and put back and missed by Farrell, and now puts him the rebound. Up the row, row on the drive, takes it in against the Zane, five-foot roller, doesn't go, rebound, and Roe gets it back, and it's fouled. Steve leads by four, 10 to six. He's been stuck on that for a long time, and Roe will have one more. It is good, he's a seven, and the pass comes in, bounce to Pierce. Matthews draws him defensively in the full court press, but Beard brings it over the time strike. The Farrell at the corner. He's guarded by Olsen, who just came in. Over to Beard. Beard free throw line on the right. His pull-up jumper rimming no good. Crashing the board again on the Pirates, and Matthews comes out of there, but man, do those Pirates crash that board. Quarter runs out. End of one. This little frantic examination. Into tonight's game at McComb. Princeton inbounds over the second quarter with a six-point lead. Matthews at the corner. On top for Ross. Now Tim Marquis is also in the game. Marquis left side with it. He'll fire from two. Rimming no good. Rebound flag. Had it. Lost it. Marquis gets it back. It's on the floor. Matthews grappling for it and out of bounds. Comes out to Ross. Now to Marquis. Marquis on the dribble. Left of the circle. Give it go down low. Trying to get it back in. Triggering the ball in. Comes to Olsen. Back down low for flag. Turns on Roper. Right around and good. Nice shot by Jim Flagg as he posted up. Made the nice pivot and it's 14-6 Princeton. Walking it up his beard. The windy at the corner against Ross. He drives behind the back dribble. Loses the handle. Goes on the floor. Saved for the moment. And a jump ball is called. Not getting any out of him. Paul Zorn comes in for Coach Gary Bansell's team. They've been stuck on six for a while. Tigers have opened up a 14-6 advantage. And a turnover by the Pirates. No. Ross. It's out top of Beard. Beard picked up by Matthews, turns the corner on him. Double team now. Back out top for Farrell. Farrell against Olsen. 
steps inside. Free throw line. His jumper is too hard. But a rebound and a putback by Roper is good. Once again, an offensive rebound by Ottawa. The much smaller of the two teams here tonight. 14-8, Tigers with the lead, though. Free throw line jump shot by Flagg is no good. Two Pirates are there for the rebound. Ahead to Zorn, loses the handle, gets it back. Kicks it over for Bazaine, drives on Marquis. Triple team down low, back shot, good. Pirates with four and answered to bring it back to within four points, 14-10. Tigers a little flat-footed right now, Dave. Marcus and Rowe at the guard. Inside for Olsen. He's shot for the paint. Bounds high. Doesn't go, but he's... The first free throw is good. Marcus seeing much more playing time now. It's really set on kind of a nine-man rotation. Second free throw is good, so neither one of them apply the full court pressure against the Pirates. And Beard will race into the front court against McDonald. Brings it between the rings. Kicks it over for Farrell. Tigers in a sagging man-to-man right now. Driving inside, Zorn, bank shot on a lead-in, no good. Another offensive rebound, missing it, though. Going down hard was played have a sizable lead now. Beard will be the trigger man in the inbound. Comes to Zorn. Now off top for Beard, off the head of the key. McDonald inching out on him. The Bazaine of the corner guarded by Walker. Holds high, Zorn. Left side driving his beard. Off balance shot. Good. Man, oh man. He was headed for the floor as he put that one up and it banked through it at 16 12. I don't need to see more scoring from him and also from Matt Wendy, who's not in the game right now. Well, if they got to rely on a shot like that most of the time. They've got a Tigers turn it over and an errant pass by McDonald. Try to hit Rowe driving inside. But the Big Blue with a costly turnover will get it back to the Pirates. The lead of Princeton is 4 16 12. Three minutes into the third, second quarter. Off-balance shot again by Beard. This time doesn't go. And Rowe pulls down the rebound. Ross to the front court. To Griswold. Griswold on the wing right side. Three-point try again by Walker. This time it's no good. He did two earlier there. Ottawa with the rebound. He was open. Driving Beard. Baseline and heavy traffic doesn't go. Another rebound for the Pirates. Roper shot in and out. And Matthews. McDonald grabs the rebound. Man, oh man, if they missed an easy one. McDonald from 10, and it's rimming out no good. He's having a tough night. Rebounded again by Roper. Roper must have double figure 432 to play in the first half. The score is Princeton 16, Ottawa 12. This is Tiger basketball on WZ. Zane triggers it in. Comes to Wendy, who's back in. To his backcourt made Beard, who will bring it over against Marquis at half court. Now off top of Farrell. Wendy. Down low, left side, back out to Windy. Out of Beard, Beard inside, and it's stolen by Walk. A good anticipation as he stepped in front of that pass intended for Bazaine. Here come the Tigers now, front court. Marcus just at the top of the circle. Three-point try by Walker, rimming no good, and it goes saved out of bounds by Ottawa. Almost got away from the Pirates, but it was saved in there by Roger Kaufman, who's in the game now. 16-12. Now all of a sudden, Princeton goes cold from the field, Dave. The walk after hitting his first two Trey attempts has missed two in a row. Outside with it is Farrell. Farrell gets it down to the corner for Kaufman. Kaufman on the drive, cut off at the baseline by Griswold. Back out head of the circle to Beard. Time winding down here in the first half. This is WZOE Princeton. David Van and Terry Kelly from County Gym. Our producer engineer is Mark Manning. Windy, three-point try, no good. Rowe boxes out for the rebound, a reach around. The free throw is good. Jeff Rowe continues. And one more for Rowe. This one is in and out, rebounded by Marquette. So the lead is five for the Big Blue. Ottawa with the ball, nearing the three-minute mark to play in the opening half. Beard left-handed dribbles to Farrell, guarded by Rowe. Inside they go. Driving underneath and some heavy traffic. A shot is put up no good by Kaufman. Returned by Ottawa, no good. And now Walker with a rebound. Outlets to Marquis. Marquis brings it over the stripe. Ashmark far side, foul line extended. Now Walker at the circle. Looks for Rowe inside, doesn't do it. On to Marquis, baseline bounce pass for Rowe. Off the mark, leg hauls in the rebound. Puts it back and it's no good. Higher for the rebound, stripped away by Rowe. Jump ball. Play. Inbounds for Marquis at the circle. The Walker left wing. 
Lobbing inside for Plague. He's got it down low, and his turnaround from five is good. And Plague from just inside the paint makes it 19-12. Well, that time the Pirates kind of laid off. Zagged in on Plague, and he got an easy turnaround. Beard against Mar uh, Matthews. Now to Vizane. Open man is Kaufman. Left-hand jump shot is good. So Kaufman gets one of the rare field goals for Ottawa to go tonight, and it's 19-14. Myers just haven't been able to get much to go from perimeter. Here's Walker at the key. Over to Marquist. Jumper for the baseline is no good. Rebound scramble for Ottawa comes away with it. Ottawa appears to be the more physical of the two teams here tonight. Coffin has it front court. Out of Beard. 135 to play in the first half. Bazane starting to set a pick for Beard, but he doesn't use it. Goes to Farrell instead. Now Bazane is open momentarily. Walker comes out to get him. Now they kick it back outside to Beard. Windy at the free throw line. Takes it to the lane. Bank shot no good. And a whistle of a foul. And the free throw is good. It is good. And the Pirates are now within three. 19-16. Pirates coming in 8-10 and 10 overall. The Tigers 13-5. and five. Ottawa's 4-2 in the conference. Princeton is 4-3. And, and a whistle of a foul inside. And the Tiger lead that stands at three. The free throw is good. The world on fire with the shooting, especially Ottawa. Second free throw by McDonald is good. Free throws have really been the difference for the Tigers. They've missed for two, and their lead is 21-16. Now Beard will bring it up against the man-to-man -man defense of uh, McDonald. Goes cross court for Woodyear, who's just come in. Back outside, the jumper is off the mark. Rowe hauls down the rebound. Now there's a scramble as it gets away. Griswold is the Pirates. Pass comes into Windy. Now to Beard. Under a minute to play in the first half. Woodyear with it. They leave him alone. Now to Kaufman, guarded by Rowe. To Windy. Windy picked up by Ross. Inside the circle. Game. And he's uh, been the guilty of some turnovers, which has been the, the most frustrating thing, I think, to Coach Bansell. Inside for McDonald. Weaves back outside the lane. Fadeaway jumper is good. Matt McDonald gets his first field goal in the line and giving four, along with two free throws. 23-16, half a minute to play in the half. Here's Roper, guarded by Griswold. Comes way out to get him, and a near speed down the court. Just a real sluggish ball game. I think it's the tempo created by both offenses and good defense. Roper cracks it out. Tiger's going to play for one with 15 seconds to play in the first half, leading 23-16. Griswold at the circle. Over to McDonald. McDonald with eight seconds, five. Half. Pass is stripped away on the inbound by Ross. They quit the men. Let 12-6 at the end of one. The free throw by Ross. The biggest lead is eight, and the second one makes it nine as that rimmed in. 25-16, three seconds to go. And half-court Beard fires just before the buzzer. It comes up to the ZOE.
Since the Tigers are getting cold now, Dave. Here's a steal by Walker, but he traveled. Second half. And Roy back in this one. They shot only 21% from the field in the first half. Here's Wolford way outside. They just leave him out there. To Zorin. Out of period. Back out for Wolford. Farrell from outside. This time it's no good. And now bounce. So the ball comes to Jeff Rowe. Well, he had eight in the third quarter. But this is his first shot attempt in the final period. Lost at the corner. Dribbles out. Bounce pass down low. for flag is turned around. Bank off the board. And no good. Who's an awesome friend of the crowd. He's out of a rebound. Ahead to Zorin. Bombing down low for Wolford. Double teamed over Rowe. It's good. And Ottawa's within four. 41-37. 655, a lot of time left to play in this one. David Pedro and Jerry Kelly from Roddy Jim driving inside his row. He's down the floor. Rose free throw is good. And the second free throw is good by Rose. So free throws by one of the senior leaders on this team. Gives the Tigers a 43 37 lead. That's the pier, guarded by McDonald's. At the time strike, bump towards the rear of the ring. Got a rope outside. Kicks it to Farrell. Farrell on row. Out of here, Jared drives inside the circle, brings it back out. Off of the return of Farrell, back to Rowe. Left side with it. Here's Farrell, head safe, takes it inside the circle, kicks it to the open man here. The jumper is no good. Crashing the board, tip up, no good. Another rebound for Wolfram, and this one is good. 43 39. 6-10 remaining in this contest. NCIC battle will be in Princeton and Ottawa. Has won the last four NCIC outings. Here's McDonald at the circle, free throw line pull up. It is no good. Rebound. Two Tigers had it and lost it. The Zane comes away for Ottawa. The momentum, certainly from about the midway point of the second quarter, has gone in favor of the Pirates. Now the Ottawa fans, who are not great in number here tonight, are urging their team on. They're within four. They trailed by as many as 13 early in the second half. They trailed by nine at the intermission and six at the end of the first quarter. McDonald goes to the field, doesn't get it. Now they kick it to Mazzane, and it's good. It is a two-point Preston lead, 43-41. Ottawa, bold shooting for the first half of the ball game. The shot better in the second half. And now, Brett within two of the Tigers. Here at home at Johnny Jim. Here's Ross. Ross left side. Tigers try to post up inside his leg. Now outside for Rowe. Rose was close. Held in check for the most part this tonight. And a whistle of a foul with uh, a couple of free throws. That was the 18th foul in Ottawa. So time. Play will add one more. And he converts. And it's a four point. Okay, they're just that kind of guy. 17 to Here a steal on the inbounds. Matthew McDonald picks it up. Off the road. Pull up from 10. Good. Off the steal. The Tigers convert on the jumper by Jeff Rowe. 47 41. The lead is up to six. With four and answer Tiger points. Inside for Roper, lead in, bank shot, no good. Tipped up and in by Kaufman. He might have been over the back. Oh, I can't believe he got away with that. 27 43. Ottawa pounds the board. Down low for Rowe on the shot a little better. And Rowe will be at the line for the Tigers. And one more free throw by Rowe is good. 49-43. Pirates with the ball, trailing the Tigers. Here to the backcourt, guarded by McDonald. Goes for the steal. Didn't get it. Ottawa fans wanted to reach in foul. Now Roper outside. He's playing with five, remember. Good coffin left-hand jump shot off the mark. Scramble for the rebound. It goes out of bounds. to the nine. Ottawa 43. This is Tiger basketball. I'm going to use the once this year. The inbound pass comes into the corner. Driving is Vizane. Cut off. Kicks it back to the outside. Coffins pull up jumper from five. No good. Rebound roll. Boy, the Tigers have to scrap for every rebound, don't they? They do. They've got to fight really hard. That's a scrapping fighting out of a team. They crash the boards like nobody we've seen before. Jump shot by Griswold is good as he hit the left side baseline jumper to make it 51-43. His fourth point of the night, and we're halfway down to the fourth quarter. Here's Coffin, just outside the circle, guarded by Walker. Now Vizane tries to jump it for Roper down low. Griswold's there to intercept. He turns it. Pass comes to Farrell at the corner. He had eight points in the third quarter. None here in the final period, though, thus far. Head of the circle is Beard. Now to Roper. Back to Beard, guarded by Matthews. He'll back it back out. He want to open up that middle a little bit. Coffin against Walker. Over for Roper. Lean in from the free throw line. Good. He's... The free throw is good, and the Pirates... Stay right with the Tigers, 
Three and a half minutes to play in the contest. Foul situation. Tigers committed five. And Ottawa eight. So the Tigers in the super bonus. Ottawa in the common bonus. Here's McDonald at the circle. Kicks it off left wing. Down low. They go for flag. Double team. Turn around. No good. Rebound. Rowe gets it back. Puts it in. No good. Rebound. Flag. And he's fouled on the way up. His free throw is the flag. We'll have one more. Free throw is missed again, and Hoffman with a rebound, knocked away, but he gets it back. Up the Beard, here come the Pirates, try to cut it to two, maybe three. Beard wants that ball, he gets it over to Roper. Roper off the circle, now for Kaufman from outside, his shot is no good, rebound, Jeff Rowe. Boxed out well that time, didn't allow Ottawa with another offensive board. Now to flag at the quarter, 2.50 to play in the contest. Princeton clinging to a five-point lead, 51-46. Matthews off the circle. Back down for Rowe. At the circle flag, wanted to. Didn't pass inside and threw it away. Ahead the Beard for the layup. McDonald swats it away to the free throw line for the Pirates. His free throw crowning gymnasium in the closing minutes of this contest. Second free throw, no good. Rebounded by Walker. Walker gives to McDonald at the corner. With two and a half minutes to play in the game, Princeton leads by four, 51-47. McDonald drives past Beard, goes to free throw line, baseline jumper. Good! That McDonald took a baseline right side. High arcing shot, had to adjust it because of a good defense, but it dropped. Beard to Roper. Roper for Kaufman, guarded by Walker. Tiger stick man to man. Over to Roper. Roper. Back outside, Farrell, long-range jumper for three, and it's good. Off-balance shot. 53-50, the lead is three, under two minutes to play. Going to the wire, here's Crowley. Ottawa and Princeton, high post, Griswold. Back out to Walker. Walker looks inside. The Griswold at the corner. Griswold holding high, looks for the cutter, drives himself, instead, stop. Back to McDonald. Baseline lean-in jumper, hits the side of the bank board, near the rebound for Ottawa. Ottawa trails by three to the ball, minute 35 to play. Here's Farrell outside. Farrell looks for Beard, finds it. To the corner now for Roper with a minute 28. Back outside, here's the jumper, Farrell! Three points right, no good, walk on the rebound. Loses it on the floor, rather Matthews with a retreat goes now for Princeton. Matthews first straight to the Tigers and make them come out a little bit flat. Matthews with two free throws, makes it 55-50. And it's 19 to play. Tigers with full court pressure. Beard hits it to the Zane. The Zane back out top. Now they're working around the horn to Farrell. Here's Beard. Now Roper outside with minute five. Martin over free throw line. Line drive shot doesn't go. Roll with a rebound given to Zane. Now off the top against Walker. Over Farrell drives on Roll inside the end jump. Good. Body through the cracker basketball on the field. With 50 seconds now, back court. Roll dribbles around the defender, the Zane, to McDonald at the circle off the key. Thought about driving, but decided better of it. Not pass inside for Griswold. High post, low post underneath. McDonald. And while they're playing now, we'll go back to Greg for a report on that. Right, and he connects on both. So pretty much clutch free throw shooting by the Tigers. And Ottawa inbound, 57-52, they trail, half a minute remains. Farrell outside of his lane, three-point try, rims out of there. Rebound, Princeton has those grab throw lane. And Matt Better from the beginning of the year. Second free throw is good, Matthews continues to be Mr. Automatic for the line. Here's Beard over the time stripe, 59-52, Princeton, 22 seconds remaining. Windy fires three-pointer, no good, rebound, Waka. Oh, man. Play. It'll be interesting talking with Roger Lowe tomorrow. And see what Comes to Farrell at the corner, guarded by Rowe. Farrell drives, puts up a long-range jumper. It's an air ball, and walk up to Bazane off the inbound. Out for Windy with six seconds. Back in the corner, long jumper, kicks out, no good. Rebound, Windy. He'll try for three at the buzzer. It